ready in 5, 4, 3, 2... Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's at podcast! <laughs> With Christina P. Here we are, we're at the place. Me and Rob gonna talk some shit. But first, let's do some dates. ChristinaPOnline.com. Two shows in Portland, Oregon. Revolution Hall, the first one is sold out. We added a second show. Tickets are almost gone for that one. Get them fast. April 1st, uh, Roner Park, California. And then I go to Chicago, April 29th, Park West Theater. And then April uh, 30th, Turner Hall Ballroom in Milk Jockey, Wisconsin. And then May 13th, Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races, Charlestown, West Virginia, ChristinaPOnline.com. Thank you, everybody that's uh, purchased my lipstick. It is still going bananas. We just got a new shipment in, so uh, you should get it. Get it now while you still can, because these things just fly from Italy right into your house. Are you, did you buy your lipstick? Are you wearing it, Rob? No, but that's how my grandpa said. I want the <laughs> fans to be able to get it, so I don't want to get it and then yeah. block somebody who really needs it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My grandpa said Italy. Italy? Really? Yeah, 100%. My grandfather says, would say, crazy. Yeah. Like, and then you're Top like, Dog? where is this accent from? Yeah, because Top Dog was just straight American. Was he straight American? Yeah. Well, he's like, he's, he's German, but he, I think he was born here. I don't even know. Yeah. It's my American. family was not big on like talking about the past <laughs> no <laughs> yeah mine neither i'd be like mom tell me about your childhood and she's like i would rather not yeah you're like okay yeah he's like i was a kid like you yeah I'm like okay i don't think they were ever kids that generation no they my, were just my tiny grandpa had like i think he still had <laughs> shrapnel in his leg from the war <laughs> crazy he's like walking around with shrapnel on you know at the airport going to the metal detector like oh this again i know, you know? it's so interesting because all these memes are like Gen Z has it so hard. And I do believe in some ways. Yeah, they had a pandemic. The economy's not so great. But then you hear stay st- home for a while. Right. You hear stories like this. You're like your grandfather shrapnel. Yeah, like, it's <laughs> or the worst is when when I was living in LA <laughs> war and girls would be like Oh, like, you know, I'm just out here grinding, like on the grind, hustling. And I'm like, you, you're you driving around going to like three auditions in a day. Like, our, like when you say hustle, like Jay-Z was like selling crack like yeah. on the street, like Literally. trying not to get killed. Like, don't say you're hustling. I know. You're like, you're sitting in your Honda Accord. That's how I always felt. And like my shrink would say things like, you know, you've been working really hard for the last 17 years to get your dreams and I was like yeah but it didn't feel like hard work it felt tiring Mm -hmm. at times but I was so in love with the process or whatever like it didn't feel like yeah if you feel like it's hard work then you're in the wrong field maybe well it's like when people say to me like oh you've been sober for 10 years like god you must be so proud of yourself I'm like (laughs) who who do you think did that to myself to have to get out of it (laughs) I'm mad at myself still (laughs) are you still are you still in a little bit of self-loathing from from those years, uh, no, because I'm so grateful that I had those years and I got it out of the way. Because now, like when I'm dating a girl, she's not worried that I'm gonna like run off to Vegas and party. I'm like, I'm done. You're done. Like I try and talk my way out of bachelor parties and this, where I'm like, Jesus Christ, I don't. I just I can't. <laughs> Is that when you go on like when you have tour dates now? Do you what are you laughing? <laughs> You're just so funny to me because <laughs> because I like I know you. Better Weller now. That's Weller. the word Weller. Way Weller. Way Weller. And uh, you're just so you're very level. Like I don't think people uh, would. Have, I, you're just very level. You're like I don't even drink coffee. I don't even eat sugar because you don't want to like break this level. Like well, it's easy to be level when like if things are too chaotic for your life, you can just x them out. Like you know, you could just be like, no, like I don't have kids. I'm not married i don't have that like when there's something in my life where i'm like i can't handle this i'm like i have to s- s- part ways with it like i don't have a boss where i'm like fuck i gotta see this person <laughs> again or like my kids where it's like they're driving me nuts or this it's just like oh if i if something's crazy in my life i i can take it and like you know flight you're a flight person fight or flight freeze fawn yeah i mean i think like now like I, i'll try and like work through shit or this world before I didn't even I didn't even process it you know what I mean like it was just like I was just in this car going and it was like whatever whatever's hitting the windshield like so let's go so hedonistic and like now now you're like a meditator you and I talk about 
like apps and stuff are like, bro, you got it. You got to get this spiritual app. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like followed immediately by farts and like, oh, can you believe this? I'm like a retarded person's TikTok. <laughs> It's just, it's our conversations are really, <laughs> really like I, I ate, uh, I ate at a Brazilian steakhouse two nights ago and oh. my farts are like still speaking Portuguese. Re- <laughs> it's com- like what's coming. Like I was, I was, yeah, Abrigado. I was laying in bed last night and I was oh, like, no. what would I do if I, if I was dating somebody right now? Like I would have to just, I'd have to be like, I have to get a hotel. Like it was, <laughs> and they were the, like, like uh, those and I was like oh my the heat was like uh, going into the mattress uh, and it was I was like this is crazy God. yeah, yeah like, what do you do when you're because da- you date ladies you're still in that world yeah. so what would you do on a night like that what, uh, so the last girl that I was dating what you do is you go into the bathroom and you sit on the toilet fart and you flush <laughs> as you fart and then it, you hope it sucks <laughs> you hope it sucks to fart <laughs> She had a studio apartment that I stayed <laughs> with her for like two weeks oh, no. in Miami. And I was like, sometimes you got to, f- it's like, yeah. a real, like I go to, no, really the like, if I won't do all that, oh, if it's like crazy, idea. but I will go to the bathroom and turn the water on and then like fart, but that, wait a second but and come that out. that doesn't do it. That won't cut the mustard. You know what I think we need to invent? <laughs> I just had the greatest idea. Oh. oh my God, I got it. Okay. You know, when you're at the dentist. And they're like, now, now spit, and then it sucks in that cone, that yeah. suction. Oh, there needs to be a fart vacuum, like we a can't fart. put this pot out. <laughs> Someone's gonna steal that. <laughs> yeah, like the suction cone that they give you, that cone that you spit into. They need to sell the cone <sighs> spit. Yeah, and it's in and your like, toilet. Am I farting? <laughs> she will never know. You know, right. we'd have to make it um, silent. The suction, portable suction. Mm. And you wear like a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Scoo show portable fart machine. Scoo show. <laughs> Scoo show. <laughs> portable fart machine. S130A model. Uh, yeah, but you're so good about preserving the world that you inhabit. And I'm so like, I wish I could do that. Because like, first of all, I'm, I'm a runner. Like shit gets hard, I'm done, I'm gone. Like, there was this call on Dr. Laura the other day. I love listening. To her. <laughs> like, I pay to listen to her podcast because she's so crazy and mean. <laughs> and there is this woman who's like, my ex husband and I had a business together. He cheated on me, and I still work with him at the company we started together. And now his girlfriend works at the company. Should I, but it's like my company and it's, should I stay or should I go? And I was like, bitch, go start over. Like, that's me. Like burn it, have him pay you out, take half the money or whatever. Get the fuck out. Dr. I Laura said to stay. I can't walk into a building where I know I feel uncomfortable every day. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Like, that's what every party is to me. Like, I'm like, <laughs> oh, like I'm like, all right, we got, you got to do this. And, and so the thing that I want to talk to you about that I fucking brought well, notes about, like, I've been wanting to talk to you about this for oh, days. I'm, I'm so watching stuck. a show on Showtime uh. called Polyamory. No, no, I know. That's the one that, that's where we got Polly and Bi. You, you've it's seen the, the show one. on Showtime? Years ago. Years yeah, ago. It's, it's like an 10 old years one. old. Rob, you say you're a mommy. We covered this like a decade ago. Really? Maybe why don't why. I remember this? This is how we got into polyamory. He's the one he's like, remember this? that's the that's the guy who gave us the drop, like Jesse and I. Oh, uh, really? That's him. He's like the martial arts guy or MMA guy. And the no. and the pule. He calls it the pule. No, he's like a he's like a a girly. No, he calls it a triad. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a different one. I was I'm, gonna say. No, don't no, you no. fucking question my I'm, mommy. I was gonna say my I, mommy ship. I'm so sorry. My mommyhood. There's a there's a documentary. No, no, this is the one. They're fluid bonding with Jesse. That's that's fluid bonding with Jesse. Right? Is that is this a show? Which which wait, so wait, so here's what happens. In like the first episode, <laughs> the they move the other couple into their garage to 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 live in like their love shack and they're like we put a family photo over the bed for you. Nadav, can you show Stop. the family photo that I sent you? Stop. They're like we put a family photo over the bed. <laughs> of a, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, wow. and for people who are just listening, God, it's, it's so the good. four of them in all naked in a professionally done, like when you take God. your kids to make a Christmas card. That's so good. And the, she's got the barbed wire, the barbed wire oh, tattoo. Yeah, the which, tribal barbed wire, fuck. mixing both genres. 
<laughs> I mean, what's amazing about the barbed wire tattoo is just how popular that was. Like, I would say it is the gold standard of shitty tattoos. Yeah, that and like that tribal thing on the lower back. The tribal. It was like you got those together almost. <laughs> like it was like you don't know what to get first. Like, oh, what's going to make me more of a whore? I guess the, the barbed wire because everyone sees that, you know? Now, could you imagine? Because I always try to relate to people and... Because there is a little bit of everybody in you, right? And you're like, I kind of get this. I get the attraction of like, it would be cool to have more than one dick in my life. Kind of. But then how do you do children? How do you do not being jealous? How do you do life? Like, this is when you're 20. Well, see, here's the here's the deal. When I watched this show, I was like, I'm going to watch this for five minutes because I know it's going to be <laughs> stupid and whatever. And the way they got me in is by in the first five minutes, <laughs> the couple is talking about how jealous they are of the <sighs> of the person that she's fucking. Like the girl's like, oh, I'm fucking this new guy. And like, he's my boyfriend. This And they're like, whoa, whoa. Like, you have to talk to the triad about this. They call the three <laughs> of them the triad. And they're like, you're weakening the triad right now. Blah, blah, It is. And I was hooked. I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. And watching like. There's one, there's one, they show two different like things going on. And one of them you see, they're like, oh, is this like an out of work actress? And she wants to like whatever. The other one is just like full real. They're really being like themselves. And it is so fucking interesting. Oh, and at one God. point, this girl, so the four of them are like on the couch, they're like making love or whatever. Oh my God. And the fucking, her girlfriend comes over to surprise her. And she like grabs her girlfriend and takes her in another room. And she's like, this is the girlfriend I don't share. Like, I'm oh. not ready to share her or whatever. And her husband is like, you know, you're acting real mono right now. <laughs> Which, for those of you who are listening, short for monogamous. It's like such an insult. Oh, yeah. look at that picture yeah. of them. I mean, oh, my God. The, is that their wedding? Like, they're all in white? Like, their poly wedding? He's got the cut-off sleeves. And oh, the, my oh, God. It's, they're so... It's and they, so they all have the same look, like they have are a leader of a cult. Yeah. You know? And they yes. wear, like, the gemstone necklaces, <laughs> like, the, the oversized things, and they're very... But you know what I really like about them? Yeah. Is they seem... So lost. They seem <laughs> autistic. <laughs> really. In a way that everything they do, it's like, may I hug you right now? Oh. You know? <laughs> may I give you a kiss? It's like, may I touch your back? It's like, Ugh. are you okay with this? Are you okay with... Like, everything... Everything is like, are you okay with that? Which I kind of like. You like the upfrontness, the Be boundary because setting. Because they don't ask, <laughs> like, being, like, when they get rejected, they get upset. Like, if they say, can I hug you right now? And someone's like, no, thank you. They're like, okay. Like, they're okay with it. Which is, imagine if life was like that. Oh, people I could know. just say, like, hey, do you mind if I do this? And you're like, no, not right now. And they're like, okay. Like, instead of having to be like, oh, I think this person's going to be really offended if I say I don't want to hug him right now. <laughs> like, they're to like the girl's like, I need a minute. And they're like, okay, yeah, we totally get that. I mean, I guess you have to be so, okay. I, the reality is you've got to be like so horny that the horniness overrides logic and human emotion. Is that what this is? Like, you, you just need to, f but you don't want to just be single and fuck a lot of different people. You want to have both worlds. You want to have companionship and you're super horny. Is that is that what this is? It's hard. to. I think it's like different for people. Like, I don't think it's like it's this one thing because I think they're all different where some of them are just like, oh, I just like I don't I don't experience jealousy and I just want to fuck. And then the problem is sometimes <laughs> the partner is a very jealous person. Like, OK, so she brings, oh, I would be a mess to it. Yeah, especially Forget like it. watching it. But what do you think you'd be more jealous of? Oh, watching. Oh, I'd be in a loony bin. But here you go. Here's the thing. Watching Tom. Oh, my God. Stop. Like fuck another chicken. It's like all in the same bed or Tom comes home and he's like, I just went on the best oh. date. <laughs> You know who's awesome? Caroline. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Just fucking, like, I'd be down. Yeah. I'm out. I think, can I tell you the, the that one clip we used to play on YMH where she's like, nothing makes me happier than knowing that my boyfriend is getting texts from his new girlfriend. NRE, new relationship energy. And I was like, nothing would put me in a mental hospital faster than my husband getting texts from another woman. Like, but isn't there a nice part of that where you go like, oh, I don't have to deal with like all like, you know, because I know yeah. like, you know, yes. as you get older and you're friends with women and they explain to you why they get in that way of like, I don't want to fuck at the end of the night because my kids have been on me all day and this, I just want a minute to myself. And this, so wouldn't that be like, there's there's obviously Ugh. bad and good, but imagine if like any time where your husband's like, hey, come on, let's do it. And you don't want to, you're like, hey, go fuck Carol. Like, <laughs> You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, so a million years ago, 
Tom and I came up with the idea of a cum dog, like somebody that we could use as a suck puppet or just like a person to do just to be a fuck puppet when you don't want to fuck. Right. Like that, a cum dog. And we'd tie her up in the backyard and she would drink out of a bowl and yeah, like a proper cum dog. It's really nice. Yeah, it is kind of, but then like, isn't that what pornography is for? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want another person. I don't want him to get feelings for. But I think a, what, happen, dog, what happens is like jerking off is cool when you want to jerk off, but jerking off is not cool when you want to fuck. And then a woman tells you, go, go jerk off. Like, cause then when, while you're jerking off, you're like, I, I didn't, I like, why am I, I, I was told true. to do this. Like, this is kind of sad. Can I tell you something though? And not to, not like I'm like the most amazing wife, but I seldom say no. Like right. there's but, really. But I'm not even talking about saying no. I'm I'm talking about the times Ugh. when you're like, uh, okay, like you say yes because you're like you don't want to say no. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's Wives what I'm saying. Do that. So you yeah, never yeah. have to deal with that. You could yeah. just go oh, like, oh, go fuck Carol. Carol. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, but she's like a like a dead thing in the room. And then as soon as the door opens, she's like, you know, she just like that's comes what to I life. want. <laughs> that's what I would like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's dead all the yeah. other time. <laughs> yeah, like Carol. Carol can have like a bad personality too. She's gonna be like, come on. Tom, are you gonna come? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. She's just so obnoxious. Yeah, but she's like pretty, so that like, he's yeah, not yeah. attracted to her. She's always chewing gum. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> breath smells like onions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you gonna be doing it, Tom? Yeah, yeah. But she's smoking hot. You right? can't parallel park. Like she's just <laughs> diminishing you at every turn. Right. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Your wife didn't want to fuck you again. So you came in the room. <laughs> Fill up my dog bowl and we'll fuck. <laughs> 2023 is the year of good feel good do good be good to yourself kitsch makes feeling good simple with luxurious game-changing essentials that beauty enthusiasts swear by whatever your budget your skin type your hair type kitsch believes you deserve little indulgences at affordable prices morning noon and night kitsch's best sellers include Satin pillowcases, caps, and even eye masks, shampoo and conditioner bars, and heatless satin curling rollers. Say bye-bye to heat damage. There are TikTok videos of people throwing away their $600 curlers for these. The amazing thing is this is only a fraction of the price at $18. I mean, how amazing is this? I love my eye mask I got from Kitsch. It is satiny soft, and I feel like a princess. Right now, Kitsch is offering you 30% off your entire order at mykitsch.com slash WMMA. That's right, 30% off anything and everything at mykitsch, spelled M-Y-K-I-T-S-C-H dot com slash WMMA. One more time, mykitsch.com slash WMMA for 30% off your order. Want to smell better? Naked. Let's face it, our underarms aren't the only place we have body odor. That is why I'm excited to tell you about Lumi Whole Body Deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. Lumi was created by an OBGYN who discovered and proved in clinical testing that the vagina is not to blame for day-to-day -day odor below the belt. So she developed Lumi, a uniquely formulated pH balanced deodorant. It's aluminum free, skin safe, and clinically proven to control odor for up to 72 hours. Special offer new customers get $5 off Lumi's starter pack with code WMMA at lumideodorant.com. What a fantastic product. I got the Lumi starter pack, man. I don't smell, I don't sweat anywhere thanks to this product. Lumi Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi Starter Pack with code WMMA at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit lumideodorant.com and use code WMMA. Right, but she's she's hot, so like I'll let her be super hot, but she's got to be, and she's got to be dumb as like just a doorknob. That's the craziest. So is before dumb. you have sex with a girl, so dumb. like my so my friends in New York had a <laughs> a house where it was like a big party house, and sometimes for the weekend they would just have people come there, and sometimes there'd be girls who were so hot, and you like you know if if you don't fuck them, you don't notice, but if you do hook up with them. You go, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't realize before like she was doing this stuff. And I thought it was like, oh. you know, like I thought that was like funny or whatever, like, or and like, you're like a you're cute stupid. or because you're so blinded 
by the like, oh my God, she's so like you could, there could just be like a way a girl stands that you're like, oh my God, where she could be saying anything. And you're like, yeah, uh-huh. Like so great. And then like three days later, you're like, well, you, you see her like do this. And like, I can't even think of like, an like exact, what's a, yeah. What's the biggest turnoff? Like what, what shrank it's your just, dick? It's just personality. It's just that thing of like, you know, it's like, you know what it is? It's somebody who to me, like doesn't chill. You know, mm. where you're like, oh, let's just chill. And they're not like, okay, like, and they're like, yeah, but what are we going to do? Oh, and boy. it's like, what? Like, I don't know. What do you do when you chill? Like, what did you do before I, I existed? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like, the worst to me is when I don't want, like, when I was thinking about the hardest part of, of polyamory for me, it would oh be like, now God. I have to convince two people to leave a party early. Right. <laughs> you know, like, now I have to go to, like, my girlfriend and be like, Hey, like, do you think like it's it's cool to leave? and then she's like, and, and she's like, yeah, all right, let's go. And then you go to the other one. She's like, I'm having a good time, and you're like, oh, fucking, I yeah, know. And you're fucking like, we've been here Cindy. for three hours. But maybe that's what the other guy is for, so that like Cindy can stay behind with Rob, with Rob number two, or with right. Fred or whatever. So yeah, like, or you just leave her off. in the fuck pile. She doesn't care. Yeah, like these people have. I don't think they have much respect for themselves. Really, truly, I don't think you can. So maybe you could treat them like. Like cum dogs, really. See, I think you can if you don't experience that jealousy thing. Oh, I don't know how you, you know? like. How are you not? I'm so I like. I just don't understand how you can be like. Either they're just so evolved, or they they're just better people than me. It's, is no, that it's what the same. Some people just don't experience certain feelings. Like I never experience shame about <laughs> my like f- stupid things I do or personality. Where some people are like oh, I would never true. say that. Or like oh, whatever, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, why? Like, I don't even understand why people are like, oh my god, you'd say that? I'm like, who, ca- who fucking cares? Like, that's I, true. It doesn't even make sense to me. Where I'm like, in my head, I'm like, should I say this or not? Like, yeah. I don't even. Th- I'm no, like, no, 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 just too. say. Like, what do you mean? Autistic twins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why would so? I think these people have that autisticness of where they don't feel. But the problem is, I think like one person in the couple is usually a hundred percent that way, and the other person is like fifty, and they're Ooh, constantly trying to push that's them. Interesting. So what happens is. She, she, he says to her, like, you're acting real mono right now. And then, like, she goes on a date with her girlfriend. She's, like, spiraling. She's like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? So she goes back to him. And she's like, she's like, I can't believe you said I was acting mono. Like, like, that's really messed up or whatever. And he's like, he's like, listen, you're supposed to want me to be with her and not keep her for yourself. That's the polyamory way. And you're not deep enough in this. And I swear they have a close up on her face and she's crying. And two seconds later, she goes, I guess I just have more work to do. <laughs> and it's like, yo, what? Like, yeah. Like, they, like here's the thing I didn't get. Polyamory is hard work. It is hard work. It's hard They're work. It's hard to be poly. It's because, <laughs> because it goes against, it goes so against, especially with women. I am sorry, but it goes against our way of wanting to couple and procreate. Like the men are convincing the women. I'm assuming it, it goes it goes multiple like yeah. ways because there's there's yeah it goes all. It the... can't be. You're right that everyone's on board. So it's this constant culty brainwashing of like you're yeah you're not poly enough. You're just not evolved enough. And then the girls like you're right. Maybe I'm a piece of shit. <gasps> it's like when you oh, were. It's like when terrible. you were. When, it's like when you were 12 and you're smoking a shit. cigarette and some kid is like I'm gonna tell and you're like. I thought you were cool, you know. It's like you, you're yeah. like I thought you were Paul, fucking nerd. You yeah. know, like you, I thought you were fucking Paul. You're not loose. Like, and then yeah. the girls like in her head, like, oh my god, am I, am I not Polly enough? Like, yeah, I because be... there, there is like a hippie vibe to this culture. Oh, like very. There's kale everywhere. Like you go, their <laughs> kitchen is just bushels of kale. And they're like, yeah, we're eating lunch. It's just kale. Well, yeah, they're so skinny. I mean, aren't they just shitting all day, well, too? Just fucking all day and shitting. Shitting, yeah, and farting. Everybody's farting from all the kale. Yeah, they are all skinny. By the way, I haven't, on the show, like, unlike your TikToks, I haven't seen <laughs> one fat poly person. <laughs> they That's, really, they casted some hot well, paws. It's, it's showtime. They never cast the uggos. Yeah. This is not real life poly. Real life polys are disgusting. And they, but like they always have the like long hair. Yeah. And the, but the weird thing is in this relationship, she's the uh, uh, masculine, masculine energy. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, hey, like we're going to do this now. And then like wow. she'll, the four of them will be. And by the way, you see them make love like they just the tits and and everything, everything. And, you, and you're watching it and then all of a sudden like in the middle of it this girl will turn to the other girl and go like what's the matter what do you need right now she's like, <laughs> do you need? She's like am i giving your husband too much attention and she's like no she's like am i not giving you enough 
attention. I mean, these guys are just like hard dicks, like <laughs> sitting there waiting for these two chicks to talk. I would put a fucking gun to my head so fast. I know. If I had oh. to list, oh Commun- my God, I'd be the, like, what do you need right the now? The communi- There's too much communication in the poly. Yeah, I'd be like, I let's think that's do what this in tw- Let's communicate I, in 20 yeah, minutes. I agree. Yeah, let's all come and then sort out the feelings later. Yeah. I think, too, what, what you're saying is... that. I don't know who's got time for this kind of relationship. If you've got kids, I think they do, right? Like one. Yeah, they have a kid. So like, how are they? Have, how was all this time for fucking? And well, it's like, isn't it so great that we're going to teach him the poly ways now? Oh my like, you God. know, like he'll be. He'll it's be child bo- abuse. They take him to the beach and the four of them are on the blanket, like kissing each other, no. tussing, touching each other. And he's with a kite in the back. <laughs> Like somebody, somebody kidnap me, please it, get it me is out of so, this. Oh yeah, I made notes because I was like, this oh is this is God. too. Uh, I can't. Uh, yeah, and that's the thing. Again, the thing that I got can't. me. And by the way, there are so many awkward hugs <laughs> in the show because if two <laughs> poly people hug each other, the third person always feels like they have to get in <sighs> on the hug, and then if there's a fourth person, they have to get in. So it usually turns into like. A three-way hug that kind of is okay, and then one person is just like trying to get in there. Oh. It's like when you see like oh. like ten-year-olds playing football, and the one kid can't get in the huddle. <laughs> you know, like and the one person is just trying to get their hug on. You just know, just trying and to so force. It's like yeah, just sit this hug out. Crowbar themselves into <laughs> every. Well, I think having one husband and two children is enough for me. And honestly, when Tom is gone, like he was just in Australia and New Zealand for like three weeks kind of a relief sometimes because you're like I just have to deal with the two kids and not but it's a relief to get away from anyone <sighs> it's just so many there's so many relationships to deal with you know what I mean yeah and, it's easier and, when there's less of them yeah could you imagine 100%. two girlfriends you're right like nagging you and like how are you feeling right now Rob how are we feeling there's the so there's a, there's a guy the there's a guy who is literally like he convinces his wife like no we're gonna move in with them and like they leave their home to move into the, like the garage of these other people to just like live on a mattress and fuck like all day. <laughs> it's so crazy and and he's like yeah we go, we're gonna do this too and like he's clearly the one like pushing her for everything mm-hmm. and this and finally they're sitting on the couch and she goes um she's like okay and then they're like well we have to discuss rules you know like what are the rules of the house and this where I'm like dude the reason I fucking couldn't wait to be 18 is like no more rules yeah like their whole thing is like well you don't want to come in here and this and what if I'm sitting in there and you're it's like yo shut the fuck up like I I don't I'll just be single and fuck (laughs) like why do I have to go through these rules that's what I'm saying like why not just be single and hook up with a bunch of different people because I guess they want like a life partner like this is my life partner who will be there whatever so so overrated he's saying like he literally gets everything he wants and she's just like, okay, like, yeah, I'll try harder and I'll try this. Try. And then finally she goes, listen, I, when they discuss rules, she goes, I just have one rule. You have to be back in bed with me by 1 a.m. to sleep because I always want to sleep with you because you're my husband. He's like, why does everything have to be your fucking way? And I was like, holy shit. Like, you see the whole th- first three episodes is her being like, okay, like, yeah, we can do that. Like, okay, we can move this girl. Like, yeah, we'll have to, so- okay, yeah, you can go yeah. fuck her. And like, you can yeah. go do this. And, and and he's like, is it okay? Like anal, oral, this? She's like, yeah, whatever you want. What-. Like the whole time she's just like, whatever. Like, yeah, let's move into this garage. And then, and then she's like, can you just be back by one? He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's incredible. Like, and by the way, Sometimes on reality shows, you're like, oh, they're acting this. Zero. No, no, no. Zero. This is real Z's. Yeah, this is like 10 years ago. Yeah. It's like, you could, it's cool to watch people on a reality show who are not just trying to get like followers. Yeah. Like they're not. Back then, yeah. Yeah. Like the, one of the, like the mom, like her tits like sagging and she's like naked, (laughs) her tits like sagging. She's just talking to the camera like, yeah, you know, Billy uh, really showed up for me last night with her. And Uh. just tit, like, like not like, right. (laughs) And you're like, okay, like where nowadays it's like, oh my God, if you, if some girl's on a reality show and her tit was just like, I know. Yeah. But they're like, yeah, this is us. This is our life. Like amazing. they're like riding a guy on top and you see like the fucking Jesus dimples in their ass God. and they're I like, can't. yeah, this is what's up. Like I can't. Is- that was a golden. You guys are horny. Yeah. <laughs> that was such a golden age of showtime because there was also like um, real sex. Right. Which was fantastic. With Brian it- Gumble. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? Was uh, it? No, that's a different show. That's, that's a sports. Show for I was like, I don't know that one. Um, but remember that one, and it would be like circle jerks with really old people, like orgasm groups, and like yeah, they yeah. were so ugly. Everybody was so disgusting and fat. Yeah, and it was like the least erotic show. Like, look at those pigs. Oh Everybody with mullets and stuff. That You're like, tr- I don't like, want to hear. I would hate someone to death if they were putting on that outfit. Because I'm like, what are you doing? 
I know. Like, it's a plastic bag with like a fucking chain around your neck. Like, see, just, I'm I'm a purist that way too. Where I'm like, is this really necessary? All this accoutrement surrounding. Just like, just fuck, dude. Yeah. And like, you know how it... she would sounds like, you know what I mean? Every time she moves her arm, it's like crinkle. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Like, this isn't like, it's not comfortable. It's not, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Like, not not efficient, but like, it's not yeah, practical. Yeah, yeah. Like, what stupid. are you doing? Like, what are you you're, doing? I wear this hoodie because it keeps me warm and it's comfortable. Like, I wear a plastic <laughs> shirt with like a, a leather collar on it. For what? Like, I don't, that's I don't what we know. should talk to people like that and be like, why but, are you wearing this shirt? Because I think like, okay, so like, I get my kick. You get your kicks podcasting, <laughs> right? I get my kicks like performing stand-up comedy and podcasting. So maybe these people are really buttoned up during the day, like they're like normal accountants and lawyers. Totally. So they get their kicks like this way. Like I'm gonna dress up and fuck my husband. I'm gonna dress up and be trying pretend to be a dog or whatever. Like they do it. They do it through sexual means, right? Whereas you and I are like creative types. We'll do it through like words or I don't know. Is that? Like you're you're just taking your trauma and sublimating it, like that's fucking trauma, don't you think? I mean, the polyamory yeah. and the plastic dog collars and shit. The the plastic dog collars, yeah. <laughs> I, the, the 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 polyamory, I don't know. Like maybe that is oh, for like sure. a health. But see, I could see like no if, if you're somebody who doesn't experience. But I think pushing your partner to do it is fucked up. But if you're somebody who's like, listen, I don't. There's a guy on there, by the way, who's like, I. Try, when we go out, I'm like trying to get my girlfriend to hook up with other dudes. And she, sometimes she's like, hey, I just want to chill. And he's like, hey, but Tom's looking real <laughs> handsome right now. Like, huh? Like, what? There's, it's so awkward because at one time, so they're sitting in a bar <sighs> and there's another couple and he looks and he's like, hey, Melinda, are you a share bear? Ew, and I was like, ew. oh, like you're saying, I'm sitting in bed alone farting, like watching this and just feeling like, you know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's like, share bear. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I'm in for swapping or like, you know, what a sharing or whatever. And he's like, okay, great. He's like, I'm going to go take a walk with um you and we'll let Bill and, and, uh, you know, Betsy talk for a little oh, bit. And it's God. like, it's just so like, but it, again, when you watch like love on the spectrum, there's, <sighs> there's, you get parts of autisticness from them. The way that everything is so like open. Hey, and like, I'm going to hold your hand and we're going to walk over there now. Yes, I know and you're talking. It's about, like, okay, may I, may I touch your thigh? Yes, may I do anal? Yes, like I know there's so many parameters. I, I don't know. I can't do it. I, there's no mystery. I can't. I can't. I can't. Polly, dude. It, 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 it repulses me and terrifies me. On such a primal level, polyamory. I'm standing up for the polys. I'm saying it's not <laughs> trauma. I'm not going to let you tear down the polys like this. <laughs> it's not right. I just like, it literally is my worst fear. I can't. We, I think it's, I'm so I think mono. part of the thing is, yeah, you're super mono. I think part of the thing is we, me and you both hate people who put stuff in your face no matter what it is yeah like whether it's like yes. um even if somebody's like yes even if somebody was like i'm super monogamous like and they talk about you. being monogamous i'd be like shut up like <laughs> you know what i mean like it's like i don't need to hear your thing of like mm -mm. what you identify as and you're putting that in your face so that's why it's like when somebody's just talking about being poly all the time you're like all right like, like yeah, it's not it. yeah. it's not your like you know like when i was drinking all the time i was like we're gonna drink we're gonna drink down people must have been at times i'm like <laughs> Yo, we're at like a, you were at church or like, you know, and we're at like a Calm wedding down. in the church part. Like, we'll drink at the thing. Like, chill. <laughs> Wait, that's it. It's like, these people are just always talking about it. That's what TikTok, you know, social media, and like put like their whole identity on the thing. is like, I'm Polly. I agree. Where it's, it's like, if it's there are 20 nuisance. things, like if you had a friend and you found out they were Polly, but they didn't talk about it, you'd yeah. be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, oh, that seems like, well, I want to know about yes. it. Or when people are constantly throwing it in your face. It's the first thing they are. Yeah. And it's like, your necklace shows me you're Polly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need just be, you know what I mean? Like, why do they all dress the same? I don't know. I, I don't even like bumper stickers for that reason. Oh, it's hard. I'm like, it's, I don't need to know your politics, where your kids go to school, uh, how many children you have, what types of dog you're into, or whatever. Why are you telling me all this information? This if is, you have a Trump bumper targeted. sticker or a Biden bumper sticker, you're the same person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they think they're so different. It's like, no. You're the same. Why Why are they the same? What because it's like, why are you doing, like, you're yeah, just, because you, you, you think your way is right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're Maybe all, that's what it is. Like, I think if it's okay to be whatever you want politically in this, but I also think you have to be like, yeah, you know, I, you somewhat understand the other side too. Yes. And, and I don't want to get people, like, again, like trying to push someone to be poly. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, they try and push people to be a Biden person, or push people to be a Trump person. And it's like, yo, what are you? I know. Like. It's just like the gays. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> it's 
just like those. Amen, things. brother. What else you got on your agenda? Oh. Two pieces. Yeah. Wow. And he usually writes in Sharpie and he came in in like regular pen. So here's the best. She goes, oh my she goes, God. you know, I really so think fun. it's, I really yeah. think it's messed up that when you get invited. So they're a triad and she goes, I think it's really <laughs> messed up when you get invited to a wedding. You only get a plus one. Well, oh, oh, so now now society has to conform to your nonsense. That always bothers me too. Right. So she proposes. That bothers she me. She proposes to them because she's like, now if I'm also part of the thing, like we're going to all get married, now they have to give plus twos when you get And now you're putting the burden on the poor person who's throwing the wedding. So they have to pay $20 for another chicken plate for you and your fucking yeah. fuck buddy. Well, you got oh. classy weddings. $20, 20 a plate, At dude? least that's a chicken. <laughs> it's expensive. That's expensive weddings. <laughs> Steak, chicken. You got a classy ass <laughs> weddings, bro. $20 a plate? That's a, that's a bottom scale. People are like, God, this fucking whole wedding cost me $400. Like, and we're never going to recover from this. <laughs> $20 a plate. <laughs> it's not ex it's not cheap yeah um, yeah I, I don't like inf imposing your alternative lifestyle on me don't and do as that. a single guy do when that. my friends invite me to a wedding and they go do you need a plus one i'm fuck, always like no 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 fuck don't, right don't off don't no, even yeah i'm like don't never. even ask and i appreciate you asking me but don't even worry about it I, i'll always come along because i know what that means where i have friends who don't know the etiquette and they'll be like yeah like i'll figure out who to bring <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's not what a plus one is for. A plus one at a wedding is like for your, unless it's maybe if it's like we're going traveling and you don't want to travel alone and that's okay. Right. But if somebody's like, hey, come to my wedding down the street and you're like, yeah, give me a plus one. I'll figure Like I had friends who were like, yeah, we'll figure out who, like whoever, maybe no, I'm dating someone or I'll bring a around. friend or this. Yeah. You're like, imagine being like, hey, I got your invite and I saw here <laughs> it's a plus one and I, and you know, they're not like, hey, I, I know I'm a fucking weirdo. And like it really right. make me f and my fucking girlfriend That's wife feel better if you can do this. And then it's like, all right, man. But no, it's like I saw you give a plus one, and I just I, it makes me feel like you're not aware of my situation that's and life what it choices. Is. And you're like, oh, uh, why do I invite? That's why they probably don't get invited anywhere. But that's what bothers me is their lack of self awareness. And I think too with people that are like, <sighs> back to the pronouns again. I think what bothers me when it's like, yes, if I know you on a one on one. I'm obviously if you're like I'm transitioning call me she that I'm like yeah dude but I think that lack of like most people function in a certain way like if 99% of the population rolls this way that's that's how we're gonna roll because it's just a numbers thing you know but it's also just I don't understand people's brain who go right to like hate like, I agree. If you make yeah. a joke about that, you're hating that. Where it makes me question their brain. I'm like, oh, you don't understand <laughs> jokes. Like, I'm like, so when you joke around about, about anything, it comes from hatred. I know. Like, that's an odd that's thing. So where, like, sad. you feel when you hear a joke, you feel hate. Like, when hate. my friends make a joke about me, I feel love. <laughs> I know, me too. You know, where it's like, oh, you feel you feel hatred when somebody makes like a good joke. I know. It's so bizarre. I I agree. It's such, but it's a different generation, I guess. I was watching. The documentary um, Woodstock '99, and I don't know if you were were you even around as a person in '99. Yeah, fourteen. You were human? Hell yeah. yeah, I was yeah. watching like I was like wanting to go and having my parents be like, "What are you oh, fucking?" Right. Yeah, because you were on the East Coast. I was doing drugs at that time. Yeah, so I remember Limp when Biscuit. this came around, and I was graduating from college, and we were I was on the West Coast, and everybody was like, "This sounds terrible. I would never go to this." Um, the point being, it was such a harsher time, like even watching like American Pie was the biggest movie. But remember that the guy fucks a pie, an apple pie. I jerked off on a plane to that movie. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I remember this. You got all worked up. You were like 13 or something. Yeah. And fucking uh, what's <clears throat> her name? Shannon Elizabeth? No, Shannon Doherty. Shannon Elizabeth. Yeah. Shannon She's Elizabeth so is naked in that movie. Oh, my God. When I saw her body when I was 13, I was like, that's all. If you, if it was like, that girl will go with me to an island right now, I was like, I'll say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. Everyone, everything. Her body in that movie oh, was like stunning. the craziest thing she's I'd ever made seen. Made out of plastic. She's like Barbie. But yeah. I think this is the last of that type of movie of that era, like the Porkies, the American Pies, the, you know, now we're way woker. We're, we're way more sensitive to the female plight am i right guys i don't think they have comedies like necessarily like this anymore uh they're still making american pies like this no though? come on uh no, like, like it's straight to vod but yeah, yeah it's now like, it's like the not... guys are kissing and right. it's like yeah ha, 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 <laughs> exactly. like you know <laughs> well now it's those i watch them on netflix like to all the boys i've loved before <clears throat> and very very chaste 
teen uh, themes. Wednesday Adams is taking down the patriarchy. It's it is just a different time, <clears throat> but we were we were just less uh, concerned about people's feelings. It was such a good time. Who gives a shit about yeah, your fucking feelings? You know, have when a I was coke talking and a smile uh, to Jamie's husband. Uh, the other day we were saying like, man, it's crazy how there's just like no funny movies anymore no. or whatever. And I was like, well, Comedy's with like dead. Twitter, podcast, that like you oh. get stuff out, like it comes that way. Like yeah. I laugh harder at an hour podcast than I laugh at any movie, know, uh, unless it's like, bad. you know, uh, Sasha Baron Cohen or like yeah, Jackass, genius. that's fucking Jack like, I'm laughing. Amazing. But otherwise it's like, yeah, podcasts are so much better. And the other thing is like. If you're making a movie, if you decide to make a movie today, it's going to come out in two years. Yeah. So two years from now, the humor, like the topic so gone. fast now because yeah. of social media and what's funny and what's yeah. this, that it's just, you know. That's so true. That's very insightful. Thanks. Uh, let's do some follow-ups for the audience. These videos too. Did I send these to you? Uh, yeah. What's the Harry and Meghan one? Sure. Just refresh my memory. You can edit this out if it's not. This is going to be real, real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle at first people was like okay we understand and we would hear you out but god damn it there's another <laughs> book another documentary another show <laughs> hey hey listen <laughs> I, your family don't like you we got it G they don't fuck with y'all we know that that's how families go sometimes you think everybody else not dealing with that type of shit <laughs> They're wow. not making a book and a movie and uh, a documentary and yeah. interviews and a, uh. sit your asses down somewhere. Do something <laughs> else. <laughs> like we don't I don't even care about the monarchy. So if you're not in the monarchy, I really don't give a fuck. Like what the <laughs> fuck? Shut up. We don't care. We don't need to see no more interviews. No no nada. Shut up. <laughs> That's so, by the way, you know what I I we've talked about stuff like this, but what made, what this made me picture is like God damn when people are doing like a real news show yeah. and then they play a clip and then they talk about it. It's like this is what should be on the news. Oh, this is spectacular. Yeah, like they should be playing this and being like, you know, is it bullshit? Like, is it time? Have have they should they stop? And it's like, and the person's like, yeah, well, I guess she has a point. Yeah, like this is real. Like, the, yeah. you, you know how real it is. Before she starts the TikTok, she looks over her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like what is that yeah. for, like she's she's like all right i'm gonna start this shit yeah. real quick <laughs> megan like <laughs> talking like, some real shit right yeah, there yeah yeah you, you gotta look around shit is so good yeah she's fucking amazing this is why I, I look at tiktok tiktok is the most entertaining thing in the world besides milf manor which i don't know if you've seen that one yet rob are you into milf manor i'm gonna start it after the poly thing <sighs> is it good let me tell you by the way, can I just say real quick, you Ugh. know what she did? Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, no. You know what she did? She did the thing that people say white people do before they tell the N-word <laughs> thing or like a <laughs> like, black joke, but she's talking about the highest whites. Yeah. So she even had to be like, listen, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Megan and Harry. Like, it's like, oh shit. Like, you know, those are the highest whites. <laughs> those might be the highest whites in the game. The highest whites. Yeah. Well, uh, I've been listening to the book I'm gonna throw up the spare. It's I I love him. I I'm really now I'm in love with him. What's but the spare? It's uh, Harry's book that he co. I'm sure he didn't write it. It's really great. But and see the thing is, you disagree with that woman, but you still find what she's saying funny because you want course. more and more. And I, that's the I, whole I, thing. That's what I'm saying. Course. We were just talking about people don't understand. It's like if somebody's make if somebody's being funny about something, if you don't agree with it, you don't think it's funny. Like I don't understand that. I can laugh at a lot. I you know Everything, what, you know what my favorite comedy is. I love when people make fun of white women. I can't get enough of those like memes where they're like, white chicks like this shit. I'm like, we do. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Or like when Bill Burr makes fun of women. I love it. I love being made fun of. I think it's the, it's, it is the highest compliment. But yeah. Uh, so anyway, MILF Manor. <sighs> yeah. Please. It's like just when you thought TLC, the learning channel, couldn't teach you anymore. We learned about uh, little people. We've learned about. Uh, fat people, and now it is women, foreign people having foreigns, foreigns, incestuous type relationships with their children. It is so fucking gross. Uh, so oh, these, yeah, the smothered. 
It's, that show oh, Smothered. Remember my God. that? I remember that. Yeah, those enmeshed relationships. But this and is. And the mom said to the daughter, don't drain out the bathtub. Oh, yeah. I'm going like to share with you. I like to yeah. bathe in your bath water. Yeah, that's cool. It's now, we'll, now that's trauma. No, the polys? No, I won't stand for that. <laughs> but the mom shower, bathing in the uh, daughter's bath water, that's, you, should go, you should go get help for a year. She should get yeah. like sabbatical. Or whatever, and yeah. go away for a year. Yeah, they need therapy. So this is the MILFs or the moms and their sons who are about 18 to 28 in range. They're roommates, and they go stay in a cheap house somewhere. The production buys them, although they make it look like it's spectacular. And they essentially hook up, the MILFs and the different sons. And it is so disgusting because they'll hook up in the same rooms together, like in the beds yes. next to each other, in like Polly. saunas. It is so disturbing as a mother to watch it. I'm like, someone called child services on these old bags because, and like the all the moms, like look at the blonde one. She's got so much filler and so much Botox in her face. Oh, that's a really good picture of her. And like rock hard tits. What about like, that left where she's kissing the hands, bottom left? Oh yeah. God. And then like, oh God. It's just like, these women are just, it's, uh, everything's so disgusting. So check it out. It's really, it'll make your stomach turn if you're a mother to like hear your son's sex lives. And they're like, simulate what it's like. Like, how do you give oral on this papaya? And the the guys are like licking uh, the papayas in front of their moms. That's cool. Super cool, right? Does That's that turn cool. you on? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do that next time I see my mom. I'm just going to roll up with a papaya. Like I came with notes here. I'm going to show up with a papaya and be like, mom, want to see how I give oral? You want to see my oral technique? That's super cool. It is like because <laughs> so I was gonna watch cool. the show thinking it was just guys dating milfs. Now that you no. brought that it's their sons into it, I can't fucking wait. Like it didn't. I'm gonna have to cut this pod short. It did. It didn't. <laughs> it didn't need the incestuous layer. Honestly, like right. I, I don't. I wouldn't it's got me hooked. Yeah, I would have gone with just like young young guys and older women. That would have been enough. So I don't know what this Freudian layering is. It, oh yes, yeah, so look gross. at her face there. Milf oh, she's manner with so the, gross. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> now the Asians, Oof. the Asian lady's hot. She's like 50s and she she still looks good. Her face looks like it belongs on Jorge Posada's hand. <laughs> <laughs> He's a catcher, a baseball catcher. I don't even know that is, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Oofa. Yeah, that I think is... too, like I'm not even attracted to 18 year old boys. It's uh, pretty gross. Anyway. See, uh, that's when I, I know a lot of guys who like younger, like the last girl I dated was 41. And like people are like, whoa, you're dating older. I'm like, I'm 38. Like, Jerry no, I'm Hattrick. not. Like, that's, yeah, that's like normal. I, I understand why guys find a 20 year old girl hot, but of course, how, why, they're beautiful. Why they can like be, I can't even do it. Like, I hear, I hear them talk and the way that they talk about like where they are in their life. And it reminds me of so where I'm not that it makes me feel gross. Yeah. It's like such a, you're just such an uneven ground. Even yeah. 30 year olds, I, I talk to a 30 year old and I'm like, oh yeah, we're a different generation. Like I just, right. They're like just getting, yeah. they're like just tasting. They're like, you know, like what, <laughs> life. what, what life's, yeah. Like the hard yeah. reality of life about to hit mm. you in that. Yeah. <laughs> but like when like I have friends who are like 50 and they're like, yeah, I want to date with this 24 year old. I'm like, oh, I think if I could put like a 40 something year old brain in a 28 year old male body. Like maybe that could work. Could we work on that, guys? Yeah. Like, could we use science to do that? Yeah, Elon. <laughs> Get it done. Put a fucking forty-year-old broad's brain in a twenty-year-old chick. Hey, hey Elon, <laughs> what are you doing later? Huh? I got a little project for your autistic ass. Throw a forty-year-old's brain into one of these slamming twenty-year-olds' body. <laughs> Elon, he's slamming. Oh. He slams so much puss. He's got like twenty kids. 20, What's on your autistic wants. agenda today, Elon? <laughs> I got something for you. <laughs> I will tell you though, I've watched interviews with Elon, and he processes emotions better than you and me. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. very he's present, like, and he like. He feels everything. You can see that guy. Like he'll start weeping, and then, like he's yeah. so present. Well, you know what the Gosh. difference is. What we say means nothing. <laughs> when he says something, it could like change the <laughs> world. So you know, the, the entire stock, the entire financial system could plummet of one know. thing he says. 
So he has to like oh, really gosh. think and not. He smoked weed on Rogan's podcast and yeah. the stock went down billions of dollars. I know. It's amazing. You know what I mean? But uh, to, I mean, look, better than the accomplishments with Tesla and SpaceX is definitely his hair plugs because boy, do they look good. And they yeah. worked. That's very rare. He, does, he has good hair. Can I tell you, I think I'm very like, I'm usually pretty good at being aware of my surroundings and what's going on. <laughs> I, you, you'll tell me this right now. In a year from now, I won't know that he is. Hair plug. I, it's something oh, I forget that I everything can't, too. When people are like, we'll leave somewhere. So I'm like, oh my God, you see that guy's fucking toupee? I'm like, no. I, I have no radar for that shit. Oh, for what? Aesthetic a stuff? Toupee, no, just like that exact thing, like a toupee oh, hair. or uh, plugs or this. Like, I, like I've like i seen that photo of him before. And when mm. you just said he had plugs, I was like, really? But look how much better he looks with the hair. I mean, he had really good hair done. Dude, yeah. look what a fucking super nerd he was on the left. That's if what you ever should meet him, look you should like. say, you know, you had really good hair done. <laughs> <laughs> I would love, I say stupid shit to people all the time. Yeah. When I met Michael Dell at a uh, concert. Computer guy? Yeah. Who's that? He made the Michael Dell, Dell computer? Uh, oh, Dell wow, computers, yeah. yeah. Okay. He was sitting in front of us at Chris Rock's uh, show. And um, and I was like, uh, uh, I went to your hospital. Thanks. It was a good time. <laughs> Broke my ankle, went to Dell. <laughs> Thanks, Del Seaton. Yeah, he's like, uh huh. And then Tom, Tom was like, hey, do you need to borrow some cash? <laughs> we were both like such dummies to Michael Dell. Yeah. But you know what's funny when you see people on TikTok and you're like, oh, these are the dumbest people, and this, like, that's what he he left that concert and he was like, man, I just dealt with a real <laughs> dummy. Like, it was like, yeah, she just said like, thanks for the hospital. <laughs> uh, mm, 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 yeah. my there's, there's levels you know yeah, there's everybody's just levels stupid. there's brain levels that's so true like to a guy <laughs> like michael dell he's like you guys are fucking tiktoks yeah yeah it's all hierarchy of tiktoks yeah yeah oh you're right the tiktok hierarchy holy shit mm. dang that was deep bro the you world just is just one it. big tiktok hierarchy dude yeah that is so true where do mm -hmm. you think we fit in because we're not the smartest but we're not the dumbest yeah. I think we're somewhere like there's average and we're maybe like a cunt hair above. Yeah, like a six. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's do some follow-ups. A lot of important uh, important stuff on the show we discuss. Let's, let's hear what the audience has to say about it. Hey, Hitler. This is Steve <laughs> from Indiana. I just finished watching your episode 179 from this week mm -hmm. and uh, you were talking about a surgeon at the end of the episode and you're asking Dr. Drew if that surgeon has the stupid pronouns under his uh, under his name. And it got me to thinking, I work in an industry where I look at doctor resumes all day long and every once in a while you do see one where there's pronouns under the, the name. And most of the time they're normal pronouns like he or she. But one time I opened up a doctor's CV and it said they, them. And I thought to myself, if I was in a fucking doctor's office and a doctor walked in and was like, hi, I'm Dr. Smith. My pronouns are they, them. I would walk right out the fucking door. I wouldn't even entertain it. I'd be like, bro, you're a fucking doctor. You don't get to play pretend like this. Anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on doctors with fucking pronouns. Uh, have a good day. Watch for what happens. My grandfather was the same way with any doctor who wasn't white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like you think an Indian guy is gonna he'd be like nope like he would tell him right to his face you talk about shit we'll say to people's face he'd be like nope he's like not not doing the Indian thing like, wow my grandfather was electric see that's the thing is that I, I actually am biased the other way like I trust Asian doctors number one A right. number one you have Asian, to fight harder so much harder yeah uh, you're, if you're black Forget it. Uh, definitely. Yeah. See, Go when you're Asian doctor. too, it's like you're in your surgery, you're thinking about making your dad proud <laughs> in my shit, you know, where like a white person is just like fucking yeah, thinking about easy. a happy hour yeah. or like brunch or whatever the fuck 100%. they think about. Yeah. Plus Asians like, they're really smart. Yeah. Asians are like. They're top. like a nine. Yeah. And that TikTok hierarchy. Yeah. Like no one's watching them. Because it's just too, you know, the, um, on the dating profiles, it says like, so the, on a dating profile, the more you fill out, yeah. there's like a, a thing of from one to a hundred percent. And it's like, your profile is filled out 70%. And the more you fill out, the more that they'll show your profile. So they, they tell you like, it's good to fill it all the way out. Cause then we'll show it to more people. And there's a thing where you get an extra 5% on your thing to put pronoun. I refuse. Uh <laughs> 
And I look at people saying it. It's like her, every single one is her, she, her, she, her, she. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not putting he, him. It's that, that feels redundant. Yeah. Like, can we, is it, is it rude to just assume that the default is he, him? Like, do you have to, that should be the default. And then if you want to like change it then then yeah you're they them or whatever it's pretty crazy how a question that no one asked for like a billion years <laughs> within three years has become so mainstream that it's on like every email dating profile this like they really push that shit i wonder how long it's gonna last because and i say this because political correctness in the 90s um everybody was identifying as like european american african american right. east asian in, like it was so specific your race and then we kind of went back to just being like, oh, who gives a shit? Let's drop it and just go back to like, there's black people again. So I don't know. I'm not European American. I'm just white. Any, any, did you ever get offended by the like, like, oh, I don't like being called black or I don't like being called African American or I don't like this? Like, or were you just like, yeah, whatever? Um, yeah, no, I, I don't care. Whatever. I mean, I'm also mixed. So it's like, I don't even know if I have a fucking say in all that shit. But yeah, I don't really give a fuck what you call me. It's whatever. Black, African American. I remember African American felt weird because I'm like, nigga, I'm not from Africa though. Like, right. That's what. I'm. I'm just American. So why you gotta specify? But I wasn't offended by it though. I thought it didn't make sense. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things. By like, depending on who, like, you don't know what to say because depending on who you're talking to, some people are offended by other <clears throat> things. You know, like I know. you could say the right thing for like a, even like a couple. Like you could say the right thing for one. The wrong, like you could be like, oh, you guys are African American, and, and one like, person could be like, thank you, and the other one's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like you know, I know, and like. Yeah, we were, I was watching car, uh, cartoons, not cartoons, commercials in the green room. Like, I haven't watched old school television in a million years. And I was watching commercials, and every single commercial now, it's like this forced diversity shit where it's like, it's a white lady and then like a Filipino husband and then like a black kid. And you're like, whose fucking family is this? Yeah. And I was talking to someone in the green room about that. And then we were both like, yeah, like this is kind of the anomaly, you know, like most people are just one thing. And then I was like, wait a minute, my whole step family was Indian. So right. But the difference is like, you look like one of the parents. Right. In these commercials, the kid looks like <laughs> neither one. Right. Like everybody's adopted now. Right. You're just like, what? We're just how we're just holding <laughs> hands walking down the beach because. yeah. But so when I used to audition for commercials, this is like probably 1991, 1992. If you walked into a room, you would think it was like the most racist room of all time because it was like <laughs> oh you go stand over there like it was literally like there would be 50 people in the room and they'd be like okay everybody listen up uh yeah the black kid over here go with the black mom and the black dad over here right. the white kid with the brown hair go with the mom with the with the brown hair over there like you couldn't even i remember uh starring sopranos and they were like yeah but uh like yeah he looks like tony but the mom is blonde like it was that much oh, of a wow. like even just because the mom is blonde and you have brown hair well, you're it's italian like, we know that right yeah it's just it's just <laughs> but they used to literally i remember auditions it being like you go stand with the mom with the brown hair and the dad with the right. brown hair and, and all the and everybody was just like sitting in their chairs waiting to go in in like sectioned like <laughs> it yeah. was fucking crazy yeah well yeah anyway there's an amazon commercial now where it's a <laughs> it's a woman in the shower and like I think she's a white woman and like her black the black daughter comes in and then uh like <laughs> black mom and a white son come in to like brush their teeth while she's in the shower. It's like a very confusing What but the showering stuff? Like uh, but no, because you're just like you're looking oh, at your okay. mom's pussy. Yeah, oh, and yeah. then there's so many different like whose kid is that? And right. That? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, where I'm like, okay, wait, this but wait, like how did like it's, I don't it took me 20 times seeing the commercial before I was like, oh, this is for Amazon because the whole time you're just like, wait, hold on. What is this hodgepodge of like trying to figure out who and like, why is this? Why are they in there? All the kids. I know. I'm trying to think like, but I didn't know any other families where them were like a white blonde girl has an Indian stepsister. You know what I mean? We definitely were the anomaly. Like, right. I, I don't know if I'd make a commercial representing like <laughs> the blonde lady with the Indian husband and Indian kids and the blonde, you know? These blonde it's very Indian rare. commercials are selling things like yeah. bra, uh, hot takes. <laughs> I don't know. We <laughs> were the anomaly. Nothing sells like blonde and Indian families <laughs> mixed together. I know, I know. People would say all kinds of stupid shit to us when we'd be out with my sister. And oh, yeah? Like, like what? Well, just like, we're like, this is my sister, Cindy. And they'd be like, what? And you're like, stepsister. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, calm down. You're right. Like, you yeah. know, like you guys are really sisters. I'm like, well, what? whatever. Okay. Let's do another voicemail. We got a lot. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, good. I like this. Okay, let's go husband scent. That sounds exciting. Hi, Mommy. I was just listening to the episode with Dr. Drew, and I heard you were saying you love everything about Tom, even his smells, yep. and that's how I feel about my husband. I love him so much. I love the way he smells. It's, I live in Missouri. It's so cold. He just took my beanie off the other day, and it was in the kitchen. I just lifted it up. I smelled it, and I was like, oh, I know you just wore this. Uh, I'm going to wear it. It smells like you. And he took Aww. it out of my hands and he smelled it. And he said, Ugh, this is what my dad's hats used to smell like. And um, it was just really off putting to me. I have put that out of my brain since then every time I smell him. But like, <laughs> I don't like that. I just like would love to inhale my father in law, but yeah, his son. But you know, I'm homesick with kids and COVID. So maybe I'm a little kooky off that comment. But um, bye, mommy. Yeah. So uh, Top Dog did not smell like Tom, thankfully. But Top Dog's smell was pleasant. It but did you ever get guy. like really into his scalp? My husband or Top Dog? No, Top Dog. Because it yeah. could be like that rooted smell where they smell alike. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not like their general scent, but like that, yeah. that like, oh, you know, I need to take a shower smell. Oh, okay. That's so that, different. That I don't know. But I would, yeah, yeah, I'd pet his little bald head. Yeah. Give him a whiff. Kiss his little, his little head. <laughs> He's a sweet man. Um, but but this intergenerational smell, this is an interesting idea. It's reminded me of something Heather McMahon said, that her father inherited a porn from his dad. Wow. And intergenerational handing down of pornography, would you feel comfortable masturbating to the same material that you know your father masturbated to? I know to? I have. <laughs> that, that Pam Anderson video, you know how many times my dad probably jerked off to that shit? Gosh, and I, so beautiful. I mean, I, there's nothing in my life that has <laughs> caused me to produce more cum. It's not even close than that video. You oh know, my God. No, she's, she, they were, they were beautiful. And I was just watching the documentary on Netflix and it's really hard to feel sympathy because they're like, and then the video came out and then we got richer and more famous right. and it's like bitch you were marketing yourself as hot sex i was only used to being naked on <laughs> pictures and now i was on a video <laughs> and so. now i'm making more money than ever like, yeah you weren't stop. fucking uh megan markle yeah you know? she was already you selling throwing those tits around she yeah and then she would complain she'd go like She's like, they only wanted to talk about my breasts. Well, yeah. Yeah, they're you, the best in the world. Well, like that, like you put them out there every single time you're in front of a camera. What did you think? Yeah. They're like, not, what, what do you think I'm looking at? Yeah. She's stunning. Look how perfect I she mean, was. I mean, she was smoking. Perfect. But by the way, I mean, it's, it's but I think like Jenna Jameson in her heyday, oh, blazing, but man, Carmen Electra was gorgeous. Absolute fire. But Pamela Anderson was Barbie. Like, see, I was never a blonde. I'm not a blonde gorgeous. guy. I'm a brunette. Oh, oh my you're like a grumpy God. brunette. Oh, Maron, not me. <laughs> Look at, I mean, wait, can you go to the third photo with the white with the belly? <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, this is East Coast. If she was like, you want to go in the back for a private dance? Ball. <laughs> Ball. I'll take it all. Whatever you got, sweetie. Take it all. Oh my God. Oh. This is, I mean, look at the one with the hair pulled I, up I right there. Jesus. Can I tell you Christ. something? This is, this is where we die. This is where we split. I'm uh, West Coast, you're East Coast. I'm West yeah. Coast vibes. I like the blondes. I, she's yeah. gorgeous. Though, I like don't get warm. me wrong. Nah. I like, I like bleachy blonde, thin eyebrow. Oh, she still looks great. Oh, she so looks. So does Pam too. She looks really. I don't think so. I think Pam Wall. The eyebrows look crazy. She looks like she should thick them out. Now. By the way, if she never did any work, I'd be like, she looks great. Yeah. Her her vagina in that video was like no other vagina. Perfect. I've ever seen. I remember still, her vagina. Day. I remember yeah, it. it was like, like a perfect what? little meow. Yeah, it looked like like a Venus flytrap. Perfect or something. Yeah. Just like per like yeah. Google her clothes, vag. Let's just take like a look at it. Waiting to be opened again. Well, that's before kids. This is that's that's when she and Tommy were on their honeymoon. She oh she didn't have a kid then. No, a kid will blast out your puss puss. Go, go to like the fourth picture. I mean, it's perfect. No, I know. It looks like a textbook vagina. I mean, yeah, and that's not even a flattering photo of it. No, there were better angles. Look, there's no beef coming out of it. No oh shredded my God. meat, nothing. What? Is yeah, but does it look like that after the two boys she pumped she, out? Look at that, and the way she holds it, Jesus yeah. Christ, and the whore nails, just perfect. Oh, the whore so nails, so pretty. 
She even had whore toenails. Uh, there's a gra- <laughs> yeah, and she's like, I can't believe it. My right. sex tape. Got- yeah, she's literally she's, naked pole dancing with her vag like pumping in the air, and then she's like, "Oh, I can't." But also, like you know, I don't know if. They, but and again, it's like the, where they were having sex was in public. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like even on the video, they're fucking everywhere. Like you know, they're know. in a car, they're on a boat. They're it's yeah. like you. I, I don't know. Boy. But again, listen. If that's if that's her, uh, you know what it is. Her trauma. You know what it is. I'm just envious that. That somebody wants to steal their sex tape. Do you know what I'm saying? Like nobody would steal Tom and my fucking people. Are like, ugh. Oh, for sure they if would. If it got leaked, put it, put it like, on uh, the internet. You'll get views. No, nobody wants to see. People us, will fuck. watch that shit. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to see it, but they. Yeah, see, look at her. She's spreading her vagina before. Oh my god! So she look, was... And look how young she is. And go down one. Is that really her? In that, I think so. Yeah, that one. She's no, no, the down girl. the young one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not really. Her. Oh, that's her. Yeah, that's before oh the tit job. Oh my god! Look, she had a belly like that when that didn't Jesus even exist. Christ. Like that line in the middle of the belly, and you she know she's created. Like, yeah, I don't. I I eat gummy bears. I don't yeah. work out. Like I don't do anything. I'm just like the hottest thing in the world. That's what those chick. That's a genetic gift. That's why I don't like fat models, because it it cheapens. Like this girl is a genetic anomaly. We should celebrate beauty. And when you like everybody's beautiful, no, they're not. Pam yeah. Anderson was fucking perfection. That's a genetic freak and an anomaly. Celebrate it. Yeah. Let it it's, give remember joy. when they said that like God. they had to hire men at Hooters? It was mm-hmm. that shit. Like they, they want to like level the playing field and things where it's like, no, there's you shouldn't level the playing field. This Don't is what Hooters it. is for. There's Don't a billion restaurants. Yeah. Go to the one next door. It's hot. Hooters yeah. is for yeah. th- that's what it is. That's what you it's know? for. It's like, do people get upset that they're not serving hamburgers in a Chinese restaurant? No, I know. I agree. It's like, oh, you went to a Chinese restaurant and you're like, no, you need to put hamburgers on the menu. Like, I'm not going to put, it's just like, yo, they're, they're not here. Like, go, go next door. else. So that's because you and I are 90s people. Yeah. But also as a dude, I wouldn't mind working at a fucking Hooters. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you pull that, like if you're the dude who's like, I won't stand for this. Uh, you guys need to hire a man. And then like, he's just in there fucking, you know. You would get in every Hooters so chick. late. Yeah, it's like being a male ballerina or like yeah. being the only guy with all the chicks. Hell like yeah! Drama. Did you ever study drama? No. So when I when I graduated from junior high school, the only school that would accept me was like a school that had actors in it. But like I went to it, and I was like, this is a joke. Like I was like, I'm not even like I listen. Like you know, I was already in season whatever of Sopranos and, oh, this, and they were trying to be like oh uh, learn this play and I'd be like no <laughs> like I would show up to school like once a week I was like working and partying yeah. and this and then you were an adult already yeah and it was like you'd have to have a scene partner and like memorize things and I'd be like well I'm not gonna be here for the next four days so I can't like mm-hmm. you know so it was, I was just a distraction like a huge distraction because I was like a kid who would sit there and was kind of like allowed to not do work so great. Yeah, and it was like, oh, because we were saying, like, I'm getting tutored on set. Meanwhile, Bullshit. it was such a, me and Jamie would just be, like, throwing things at cars. Of course. I can't believe, I forget, oh, we were looking at the, um, Chase and I were researching Amanda Bynes. What happened to Amanda Bynes? I saw her at a bar in New York before I left uh, New York, and it was, yeah, it was sad. I think she had, like, a face tattoo, and she just was, like, really, <sighs> um... It was like what happened because I, I loved her. I, she, you know, she started doing stand up as a child, so her parents threw her into show business very early. <clears throat> and then what? The drogas and mental illness, or what? Because I guess. she Can was you go lovely. To this, the the under that and over one where she's like that up a little. Yeah, that one. Mm. There you can see she's she's sh- struggling like she. Oh, no. That's the, like, she looks like Marilyn Manson. Yeah, it breaks my heart. because She was just so, like, sweet. And that's like, you know, I know girls who are beautiful, who are like, I just want to get this one little thing done, this one little thing done. And I'm like, yo, it's a it's a dangerous path. Because then you do one little thing, and that doctor goes, hey, do you want me to do your nose, to, or you're this too? And you're like, oh, I, I didn't even know I needed that. And then you start looking at that every day, and you're like, yeah, maybe I do need a little uh, this. And it's also like... Hey, try and try and like if you clean up your diet for two weeks, people are like, did you somebody in my family thought I got something done when I started getting healthy. And I was like, I'm fucking 29 year old dude. Like, what do you think? I? What do you think? I'm nuts. Like I got something done. Yeah. Just lose weight. Yeah. You just lose weight. Your shit fucking tightens up. But that's, (laughs) you know, lose weight. Your shit fucking tightens up. (laughs) Yeah, That's a shirt. Yeah. Poor Amanda Bynes. I just loved her. I like. See, I didn't know anything about her before the crazy. I, I don't know like who, what, what her whole thing was. She was a Nickelodeon star, yeah. and uh, 
she had that movie where she dresses up like a boy. It's like, what is it? One of the boys or something? I was oh, watching right. it. right. It's like she's playing soccer or something. Yeah, like it's cute. She's super cute. Uh, she did movies and stuff. Oh, she man. Look at that star. photo of her with the blonde hair down there where she's holding the phone in the mm, mirror. Yikes. Poor down. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Man, look at so Oh, sad. man. That's all drugs. Yeah. And they were talking about like, you know, Nick Carter or oh, no, Aaron, Aaron Carter, Carter before yeah. he died. He was like filming himself every day and like putting it online and this. And you saw like the deterioration of just like, oh, yeah, this is getting bad. This is getting bad. And the problem was he was so unaware of and I guess it's, you know, mental illness or drugs or whatever, where he was like, he was, yeah, I got the number one song right now. And I was like, no, you don't like, you know, so how do you. What what are what are his family supposed to do? Like the cops were always showing up there, and this it's, it's so it's so sad. It's fucked up. I know. They shouldn't let. Oh, she's the man. That's the name of the Amanda Bynes. She's movie. the man. Yeah, they. I don't think you should let kids work that young. I mean, you were young too. You're twelve, right? When you started, or even younger. Yeah, you know what? It maybe it is. It's like maybe you should. If somehow you could figure it out, it's like you should let kids work if this is a better direction than they're going in. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's it's a good like point. if they live in like a very happy home and their parents have like $1.5 million in the bank and everything's yeah. great and they have a healthy life. It's like, yeah, maybe you should wait till you're 18. But it's like, you know, we, I was living in income housing and like, you know, we <laughs> couldn't afford anything and this. So it's yeah. like, this was a huge, like my life is definitely better for it. You definitely. know, there's no question. So it's like, yeah. Like what would I be? I would be either a drug dealer or like a doorman Jesus or Christ, whatever. Man. Which like it, I, I don't know. Like, maybe, but maybe I'd be happy. I, who knows? But <sighs> I just I see the friends who I was hanging out with. Half of them became drug dealers, and half of them, you know, like three of them are probably like legit doing well now, and all the other ones, it's just like not really good news. <sighs> you know, so it's like I think it was pretty clear that when they were like, hey, do you want to be on one of the best shows of all time for 10 years? It was, they were doing the right thing by yeah. me. You know, I was like, yes, please. Because you probably wouldn't have been like a school guy anyway. Like no. you probably would not have wanted to go to school in high school or I was never, I was, I was good at math and everything else. I was like, I can't even, like I, when it comes to history, I'm a moron. <laughs> a moron. Like they would talk about it and the next day I'd be like, I don't remember any of this. Like I just can't retain it. Yeah. I don't, but if I watch videos like on YouTube, I can. But like yeah. sitting in a classroom, and that's the other thing they're trying to teach you when you're like, when you're like prime horny. Yeah. You just got the Pamela Anderson video oh, in your VCR. You're God. thinking about that all day. Then the girl next to you is wearing something where like you know you're a 13 year old kid and you see her legs or her boobs or her butt and you're like holy shit. And the guy's like in 1722. <laughs> do you remember this guy with his hat on ran into this town? I'm like what? Yeah, like Jay my D man. Yeah. I think too. That's why it's good to have single sex. Um, schools like I went to an all-girls Catholic high school and because there were no boys it really made you focus on studying like that and and the the male teachers they hired had to be married to work there so you were not because that stops them <laughs> oh I know right but like I'd never heard of any uh stories of, yeah. of dudes no I never heard of that shit. either but even in a public school like I think it's I think it, those are like very rare you know or it's like I don't think I don't think a guy's like Man, I'd fuck that student, but I'm married. <laughs> you know, I think he's just like, you <laughs> doing it do or it. not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're down to fucking do it or whatever. Ugh, or all right. Let's hear about the yogurt one. I'm so curious. So I showed Dr. Drew a video, a, a TikTok of this woman who put, oh, do you have it on deck? Uh, let me see if I can find it's it. It's so disturbing. She puts yogurt in her maxi pad and she's like, if your shit's hot, this will cool it off. I watched, yeah. Like, I saw you show yeah. that. So, it was... There was a girl I saw the other day on a porn, and I think you guys have showed this on the um, the dark segment. What is it called? <laughs> the uh, for the live. Oh yeah, the, the heavy, dark, heavy, heavy. Yeah. I had to stop watching because it ruined my fucking weekend one time. <laughs> like really, like the guy, and it wasn't anything. Like when it's like, oh, people are playing with shit. I'm like, who cares? Like that doesn't get me. But it was the guy was pulling yeah, stuff out of his I eye. Don't like eye stuff. And either. to this day, I I stopped watching. Then I was like, I can't do this to myself again. Because for three days, I was like, I was but, trying to fall asleep and I was just like. But Rob, the heavy is only the last like 20 minutes of the live shows. No, I know. I just, I'm just saying that part I can't do. You can't do yeah, it. I was I here know. for the last one. I get, I have to get drunk and dissociate. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you were here. That's right. Yeah. You left. You were like, I'm out. Well, you know what's so great is, uh, is Bobby Lee was standing <laughs> next to me and they were doing the pre-show and Bobby Lee's like, oh, I want to walk through naked. 
uh, on the pre-show. Did you did you see this? Did you ever hear? <laughs> yeah, about it? I heard about this. So he's yeah. like, I want to walk through naked, and I was like, Yeah, go do it. And he's like, uh, and he's like, No, no, no. Like Tom and Christina will get mad. He's like, Somebody no who way. works here. So I told him, I go, I work here. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I work here. You could you could do it. He was like, Yeah. And then like Ryan confirmed it, and within one second, I heard his belt buckle hit the floor. Oh my god! Like I don't even like. It was literally like, it was like, oh yeah, you can. It was a clink. Yeah. Like, and he, his pants were just off. I was like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah, this dude gets him. naked. That's He's why I love comedians. Great. Like, we have no fucking what filter. Just do it. I can't, I can't yeah. imagine being a regular. I can't wait for your podcast to start. I'm fucking. You're I'm chomping. Ready, You're ready. I can't wait. Yeah. yeah, we got to get through the holidays and stuff. And Jamie was working. Now she's back. Yeah, she's back. We're fucking, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, it's good. The, the set designer, I sent him uh, pictures oh, yesterday. Awesome. I was like, yeah, something a little like this. Okay. Like okay. Well, yeah, don't, yeah. don't share. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do one more follow up and then uh, mommy's got to go. I got to go pick up my kids from school. So this is a follow up um, apropos the <sighs> conversation you. about the yogurt and the maxi pad. Oh um, so I actually one time was on vacation. I was in like the rainforest in Ugh. Costa Rica and there were no pharmacies around and I got the worst yeast infection like of my life because of how just humid and horrible it was and I couldn't get to a pharmacy or anything like that and so I looked online and I called my mom and she told me to put yogurt up my vagina she said get yogurt with no sugar no like flavor anything and the only yogurt I could find was goat yogurt um, that didn't have any sugar or anything, and I literally just had to shove a bunch of goat yogurt all up in my vagina, and it was really weird, and I hated it, but it actually cured my yeast infection. Great. So there is some truth to it. I definitely wouldn't recommend it Probiotic. if you have other options, but yeah. All right. Love you, Mom. Bye. Yeah. I mean, there's cultures in the yogurt, probiotics that, uh, and even you can take probiotics that's preventative for yeast infections. If you're prone to them, you can take a probiotic every day. Yeah. I mean, I heard that eating yogurt is good for preventative. I didn't know that actually putting yogurt in your pussy uh, works. I'm super stoked for you. She's lucky she's not my there girlfriend. Because <laughs> that would have landed her with a nickname for life. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Play, play the TikTok. That this. Let me tell you something. Yes. Oh. This yogurt right here would definitely Even this grosses you me out. Like, out just the doing it. Make sure you got a nice long one right there. And uh. baby, listen, when you put that thing on, especially if you're, you know, it's kind of hot down there, you know, something going on, that's all you got to do. Make sure you coat it very, very well. Oh. And I'm telling you, that warm sensation. Feel all nice and cozy again. That's all it takes. A little bit of yogurt. Dude, I don't know why this is hard to watch. Because it's disgusting. Bed, but it's the same way like when somebody brings something that's supposed to be clean in a garbage bag. You know what I mean? And I'm <laughs> like, and I'm like I, I don't know why that grosses or me like out. Or like somebody puts their burrito into a Febreze that's okay. trash bag. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't it like fucking, what, what was he it? It wasn't it. a burrito. It was, no, it was a laffa. It was a laffa. big old laffa and it was just for like an hour. It was just for the, tra the, the in trip. In a trash bag. The trip from here to home. It's an inexcusable. No, dude. It's like 20 to 30 minutes. How much chemicals Put in a paper towel. Off? A yeah, paper towel. anything. Eat a it. Eat it. <laughs> no, but a, a paper towel is unsealable. It's disgusting. Chad, it's, okay, Chad and any disgusting or not disgusting? Let's take a vote. Wait, so he carried it in a trash bag that yeah, was scented? Look, a Febreze was trash bag. So much leftovers. And then he microwaved it. Traditional Ziplocs could not take oh. it home, so I had to put it in an oversized garbage bag. And Were there no like plastic sacks around? Or anything not. like that? No. Plastic sacks. This was Reseda. This is the old All we had were scented Febreze trash bags. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's kind of gross. Dude, alive. just stop at a fucking drive thru on the way home. Wait, like, cool. how am I getting to the drive thru with the. I'm just, I'm saying, I'm just bare handing a lot Sacrifice the food. Like, yeah, go to a drive thru on the way away. home and get new food. He won't really get good lava. He won't get. So get that same food. But just okay, get no. like that's a like in the other direction. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm still. Uh, it wasn't broken. Stop trying to fix it. <laughs> Hold on. But didn't you microwave the lafa in the Febreze bag? No, no, no. I took it that out, and when be... I microwaved it, it microwaved the smells out of it. He'd be dead if he did that. And you want to know why? Not from the Febreze, but so if you're living your gross. lifestyle to where you have your food in a Febreze garbage bag <laughs> and you just walk into your place and put that in a microwave and start it, you're not able to function on that. <laughs> 
<laughs> that that's a Think dead person. Again, Rob. That's a no, no, no. You took it out of the Febreze bag. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying oh, okay, if okay, somebody okay. was oh, like, "All right, I'm home now," and just took the Febreze garbage bag with the food in it and yeah. put it in their microwave for five minutes, they'd be dead on Earth from something else. Yeah, yeah I'm they're not just dumb, idiots. Christina. It's not microwave uh, uh, okay, safe. Okay, all right. I wasn't right. sure. It's not yeah. microwave safe. Any nasty or not nasty? Let's hear it. Uh, completely unacceptable. Completely <laughs> unacceptable. Yeah, it's not yes. exactly nasty, but it is not a good choice. It's, I will say it's dumb. I agree with that. It's dumb. But here's the thing. Listen, it's like, there's gross. no it's lack true. of food in your life, Nadab. Like, yeah, you have a job. You have, the, like, why are you, like, this is, this is, like, you're like a uh, golem with the ring with this food. Just let it go <laughs> and get other food. It's precious look, love. Yeah, I was raised Jewish, and you're not, we yeah, can't throw Jews, out good food. Yes, they we, can. Jews can buy Jews new You food. did Jews throw Throw it out. That. You Jews threw don't. it out into a garbage bag, and then you took it home and you ate it. Yeah, and then I threw it into my mouth. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> Look, right. we, we can't throw out good food. We okay, I, I, it. it's not your Jewiness that makes you. I think it's something else. Something's wrong. I because here's the thing. I think if we it's if people never patient. brought it up, he wouldn't think it was weird at all. No. That's the problem. No, I know. Like if he's like, dude, I had to so do the props. fucking craziest thing, but this food was so good, I put it in a fucking Febreze garbage bag. But like somebody <laughs> said, like, are you putting it in a Febreze garbage bag? And he's like, what? All right, I wouldn't have even thought that it was a thing to okay. ask permission. Okay. That's why. That's guys, why he's nuts, guys. That's got, why you're nuts. I gotta go pick up my kids from school. We yeah. gotta wrap this up. Well, thank you so much, Rob. You've even oh, got another on. page of topics that we did not even get. No, to. no, no. This was all about. We did. Yeah, Polly potluck was a thing they did. <laughs> they had a potluck dinner for the. Po and she goes. She goes. I'm, she goes. Normally, I open this invite to everyone, but we want to keep this more intimate. So it's only Polly's in Southern California. Oh, who are invited to this how party. special. Yeah, right? Wow. Keeping it small, keeping it intimate. I love it. <laughs> um, I'm so thrilled you came by today. I'm so excited about Thank your podcast coming up. I so can't excited. wait for that to drop. I love you. You're like a brother to you, me, mommy. like an autistic brother. Yes. And um, thank you for everybody who's watching. Please subscribe. And um, until next time, stay cool, moms. Bye. Hi, mommy. Thank you for watching that episode. Did you like what you see? I hope you did. So why don't you subscribe? Just click the subscribe button and, you know, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. And also, why don't you watch another video? What, watch one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, down there, whatever. There's so much stuff, bro. I make these all the time for you to watch. That's why I'm here. I love you.